Welcome to Verona, a city brimming with ancient architecture and charming streets in the northeast of Italy. Our journey begins with the iconic Ponte Scaligero, Verona's most renowned bridge. This bridge gracefully arches over the Adige River, which flows through the heart of Verona. Crafted from a combination of brick and marble, this medieval-looking structure is actually a reconstruction of the original. The original Ponte Scaligero was built between 1354 and 1356 as a military structure, a crucial part of the Castelvecchio Fortress. This fortress, along with the bridge, was commissioned under the rule of Lord Cangrande II della Scala and served as an escape route to northern Italy during times of unrest. Guglielmo Bevilacqua is believed to be the designer and builder of the bridge, as suggested by a document from 1495. Unfortunately, during the chaos of World War II, the bridge met a tragic fate when German soldiers retreating to Germany blew it up, along with all the other bridges in the city including the even older Pietra Bridge. After the war, the city's authorities decided to reconstruct the old bridge instead of designing a new one, as a small portion of the original structure had survived. This historical bridge leads directly to the Castelvecchio Fortress, originally known as Castello di San Martino in Aquaro. Erected between 1354 and 1356, it stands as one of the most significant military monuments associated with the noble della Scala family. Throughout its history, the Castelvecchio endured various modifications, including significant damage and changes during the Napoleonic era. It wasn't until 1924 that restoration efforts began to return the fortress to its medieval appearance. This restoration included restoring the towers to their original height and adorning the interiors in medieval and Renaissance styles. Today, Castelvecchio houses a significant museum dedicated to Italian and European art. Its courtyard, known as the Corte d'Armi, features four crenellated towers and served as barracks and weapons storage during the Napoleonic era. The lower floors were used as warehouses and workshops, while the first floor was reserved for lodgings. This courtyard also serves as the entrance to the Museo Civico di Castelvecchio, home to works by renowned artists like Pisanello, Bellini, Carpaccio, Montegna, and Rubens. The castle is surrounded by a dry moat. Our exploration continues with the Arco dei Gavi, a monumental white marble arch. It was constructed by the Gavia family a noble Roman family residing in Verona. Originally, this arch marked the beginning of the Via Postumia, a Roman road leading to the city. In medieval times, this arch was incorporated into the city walls. This 1st century AD architectural marvel was designed by architect L. Vitruvius Cerdo. However, during the Napoleonic era, the French dismantled the structure. The remnants were subsequently relocated to a square and then to Verona's renowned Roman arena. In 1932, these fragments were used to reconstruct the arch near its original location. This reconstruction was part of Mussolini's efforts to utilize ancient Roman architecture to evoke nationalistic and historical pride. Now, we find ourselves in the heart of Verona's historic center. This old town, with its medieval origins, nestles within the meanders of the Adige River. The city center is home to over 250,000 inhabitants and was ruled by the Della Scala family in the 13th and 14th centuries. They were responsible for the construction of significant landmarks such as the Castelvecchio Fortress and Ponte Scaligero. These medieval structures lie within the city walls and historically granted access to the city center. Piazza Bra, a vast square, is one of the most significant squares in Verona. It serves as the stage for Verona's renowned opera festival, an event that attracts thousands of visitors each year. The square is lined with picturesque, colorful palaces, many of which have historical significance. It is also brimming with restaurants and cafes offering outdoor seating. Giardini Vittorio Emanuele II. 
These gardens, constructed in honor of Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of Italy after unification, feature a famous fountain known as the Fountain of the Alps. Located just behind it is a bronze statue of King Vittorio Emanuele II on horseback. The park provides a perfect spot to relax on a sunny day, shaded by cedar and pine trees. The Verona Arena is one of the city's most iconic landmarks, an ancient Roman amphitheater built in 30 AD. Despite its age, the arena is still in use today as a theater and stands as one of the best preserved examples of its kind. In ancient times, it could accommodate nearly 30,000 spectators who flocked from far and wide to witness performances and games. Originally, the arena was constructed just outside the city walls, but the city expanded and the arena now resides in the heart of Verona. It is often used for opera performances, making it an integral part of Verona's cultural heritage. The exterior consists of pink and white limestone, a color that illuminates beautifully under the setting sun. Today, the Arena di Verona Festival is a world-famous opera festival, attracting music lovers and theatergoers from around the globe. The festival takes place each summer, and the arena hosts open-air opera performances with a dramatic backdrop of ancient Roman architecture. Verona Cathedral, Cadrale di Santa Maria Matricolare. The Verona Cathedral is a religious landmark dating back to the 12th century. It boasts Romanesque architecture, adorned with various sculptures and artworks. The cathedral's entrance features a beautiful rose window. Inside, you can admire artworks by the likes of Titian, among other masters. Juliet's House, Casa di Giulietta. Juliet's House is one of Verona's most famous attractions. This 13th century building is believed to have inspired the setting for William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The house is a major pilgrimage site for lovers and romantics from around the world. You can visit Juliet's balcony and leave love notes on the walls. Basilica di San Zeno Maggiore. Verona is a city with a rich religious history and the Basilica di San Zeno Maggiore is a testament to this heritage. It's a Romanesque church, showcasing stunning bronze doors adorned with biblical scenes. Inside, you'll find remarkable frescoes and artwork. This basilica is dedicated to San Zeno, the patron saint of Verona. This ancient Roman bridge dates back to 100 BC and is one of the city's oldest structures. It's built from local red and white marble. Over the years, it has been reconstructed and restored, but its essential Roman features remain intact. The bridge offers magnificent views of the city and the surrounding landscape. Wine tasting in Valpolicella. Verona is located near the Valpolicella wine region, known for its exceptional red wines, including Amarone and Valpolicella Classico. You can take a short trip outside the city to visit local wineries, sample the wines, and appreciate the scenic vineyard landscapes. This hilltop castle overlooks Verona and offers panoramic views of the city and its surroundings. You can reach the castle via a short hike or by taking the funicular. The site includes a lovely park where you can enjoy a peaceful stroll. If you have time to explore local culture, visit Verona's vibrant markets. These markets offer fresh produce, clothing, antiques, and various local products. The most famous of these is the Piazza della Herb Market, located in the square of the same name. Giardino Giusti is a Renaissance garden showcasing elegant landscaping, impressive statues, and well manicured hedges. You can stroll through these peaceful gardens, discovering the unique design and enjoying the tranquility. Verona is renowned for its culinary offerings, featuring dishes like risotto al tastasol, pastisada de caval, and risotto alla marone. Don't forget to savor the delicious local wine, particularly amarone, which pairs wonderfully with many regional dishes. Verona is a city with a rich history and an incredible blend of architectural wonders, 
making it a fantastic destination for both history enthusiasts and lovers of culture. Enjoy your visit to this captivating Italian city. If you like the video don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.